Yo, what's up guys? It's Brian from Rutledge Fitness and the Runner's Flat. Today we're going to be going over some different ways to add double leg lifts into your core routine. For me, this is one of my favorite ones because we're targeting the core, the hip flexors, and the quads. For me, this is a really good move because it's a practical move where when runners are racing or doing hills, different kinds of things, we can tell when our core, our hip flexors, and quads are weak. So we're going to add this into the routine today. Coming down to the ground. Our first move is going to be our double leg lifts. So you can either place the hand under the hips or down beside you. And we're just going to come into our double leg lifts. We're going to bring them down, touching the heels to the ground, and then back up. The important part about this move is we don't want to come up and then drop those heels. I want to feel that contraction in my core and then back down controlled. I can already feel where my quads are lifting that leg. My hip flexors are kind of getting a little bit of tight. Another way to add to that move is to not touch those heels on the ground. I'm still slow and controlled. I'm not in a race to get those feet up and then back down. My second move that we're going to do is a jackknife. So now we're going to add those hands. I'm lifting those legs again, but this time my shoulder blades are coming off the ground and I'm trying to meet those feet halfway. Same thing, I can drop everything to the ground, back up, down, and back up. If I want to add some difficulty to that move, those heels are staying off the ground. I feel that contraction, I feel that core lengthen, contract. Woo! Also with my jackknife, so my, my lower back is staying on the ground. So I'm not trying to roll that up. My lower back is staying and I'm just really contracting that upper core. So my shoulders are gonna control the upper where my legs are controlling the lower core. So I don't have to come all the way up because I'm getting two movements in one. Those legs can come as high as you comfortably can. Obviously the more they come, the more lower back I'm going to use. So some people might be comfortable right here. Some people might have a little bit more flexibility in those hips. Thank you. The important part of this move is to comfortably come up as high as you can. Don't think that you have to bring those toes up to the face. Just really feel that core. Ryan's out of breath. I'm winded. Alright guys, those were our two different core moves to add to your next core routine. Hope you liked them.